Hi everyone! I'm excited to be sharing this video because it's probably one of the most requested things I've ever been requested to do. <laughs> um, so today I'll be doing a tutorial on how to draw a realistic eye with pencil, so I hope you enjoy it! So before we start I just wanted to run through the materials I'll be using. So I'll be using the Stedler Mazumograph pencils, white gel pen, Faber-Castell perfection eraser, um, some blending stumps, a kneadable eraser, and um, the Canson Bristol board paper. The reference I'm using is by Cosmo by Haley on Instagram. Um, I'll leave her links below. I chose this reference because I love drawing the highlights in the eyes uh, with the white gel pen, so I thought this one would be good. So I don't usually start sketching out any like area in particular every single time but for this one I started on the eyebrow mainly just so I knew where the eye would sit on the page so like the eyebrow wouldn't end up off the page. Um, I sketch everything out really lightly using a H pencil. It's really important so that you can rub out like any mistakes you'll make and also it makes life easier for you later on when it comes to uh, shading and blending. I try and break the eye down into shapes and lines in my head rather than looking at the eye like as a whole. I think when you look at the eye as a whole, you draw what you think you're supposed to be seeing. So you like tend to want to draw like an almond shape with two circles in it, which will never really look realistic. So I look at the shapes and the curves and see how they interact with each other and sort of absorb, um, bleh, observe the distances between them. So everyone starts shading different, like in different ways. Uh, I start with the darkest part, which is usually the pupil in this case, anyway. <laughs> so I've used, I think, a 5B, and then I'm using a HB to work my way out into the iris, um, using a blending stump to blend it all in. And then I, I used whatever was like left on the blending stump to fill in the white of the eye. Um, but use a light hand and gradually put more pressure on the paper in the corners where it's darkest. I think here I'm using a HB to darken up some areas of the iris and also using the eraser pencil and white gel pen to add in the lighter details and the highlights. around the eyes, layering is really important. So I use a HB pencil and a light hand to put down like the first layer and then um, blend it in with tissue and you just kind of keep building it up. It's like if you do makeup you know to like keep layering the eyeshadow so it doesn't come off in like a big block on your eye. <laughs> um, if you like go straight in with black it's going to be a lot harder to blend out so it's the same with pencil. Also, I just wanted to talk a bit about paper here because I do think it's a really important thing when it comes to shading and blending. Um, paper like the one I'm using with the higher GSM and like heavier weight is really smooth and it doesn't have much tooth so the pencil glides on like really smoothly and it blends out really nicely so you can get more of a realistic look with it.
On to eyelashes. Um, I think one of the most important... No, that's not what I'm trying to say. One of, one of the most common mistakes you make when you first start drawing eyes is drawing too many eyelashes um, and drawing them going the whole way, like, around the eye and have them all going in the same direction. But if you look at people's eyes or, like, just study your own eyes, you'll notice how, like, eyelashes fan out and point and curve in different directions. They also sort of stick together in little groups, especially the lower lashes, so they're not all like individual and pointing in the same direction. They're also not the same length the whole way around the eye, so they thin out and get shorter towards the inner corner, so you want to use um, less pressure there. I think a good tip is to sketch them out lightly to start with and then build on to them when you're happy with it using a 3B, um, using less pressure and sort of flicking the pencil out so it gets lighter and thinner towards the end of the lash, if that makes any sense. <laughs> I'm not the best teacher. But I think learning about something like pressure comes with practice, so keep practicing if you're stuck. Sorry if that was no help. <laughs> With the eyebrow, I use the HB pencil and tissue to gently like shade it in. The gently like shade the general area in. And then using a H and HB, I gradually added in the hairs. Again, I think it's good to keep looking back at the reference to see the direction that the hairs are going in and also look at like the thickness of them and the darkness like in some parts it's really dark, like where some hairs are clumped together, that sounds horrible, but you know what I mean. And then also I didn't film this bit because the camera cut off, but I used the eraser pencil to erase some parts of the hair so where they're catching the light. And after darkening some bits up and using the white gel pen on some bits, I think it's done. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial, I hope you found it useful. Links to my Instagram, Twitter, Redbubble, ow, everything, um, will be below. Feel free to give this video a thumbs up and check out my other videos if you enjoyed this one. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye!